We've got a super duper guest, a great man who understands political history. He's a biographer of Ronald Reagan. He's our good friend Skyping in from Northern Virginia, Craig Shirley. Craig, welcome to our post-debate special. Right off to you, my friend. What was your perception of the evening? Who was the big winner and who was the big loser? Well, that's a good question. You know, you go through these now, what, 12 times, and each time, you know, you're asked a question and you're really not sure, and then you come out the next day and, you know, your, your judgment it might be right, it might be wrong. I would say that uh, Trump maybe got nicked up tonight. I'm not sure that they slowed his momentum. Uh, Kasich uh, availed himself very well, and I've noticed a lot of co favorable commentary about John Kasich's performance. I thought Fox went awfully, awfully hard against Donald Trump. Uh, and uh, that may come back to uh, to bite them. Uh, I don't think that uh, Cruz Cruz did fine, but you know, it, politics is motion, and uh, and right, right now Donald Trump has forward motion to quote Newtonian physics. And uh, I'm not sure that anybody slowed his momentum, but Kasich might have picked up a little momentum just by distinguishing himself by not getting involved with the fight that the other three were involved. Well, in. it's it's interesting you mentioned Kasich. Uh, my old colleague on Capitol Hill who chaired the budget committee when I first arrived there, Governor Kasich tonight made the case in much more eloquent and elegant fashion than I'm going to say it right now. But essentially, his message was this. Been there, done that. Let's look and listen. I'm the only person on this stage who actually was the chief architect of balancing the federal budget. It's not a theory for me. It's not, it's not some, you have to know how to put everything together. And you know, I spent 10 years of my life to get there, and I did not do that because I'm worshiping at some balanced budget shrine. There's one person on this stage and one person who's been a candidate for president in either party that restored economic strength, growth, a balanced budget, paid down debt, cut taxes, the things that people in this country want. No theories, reality. Got about 30 seconds, Craig, for you to weigh in. Is that enough to win the Ohio primary in two weeks for John Kasich? Well, it certainly helped him. I thought he had a number of high points. One was where he played the, uh, he played the Reagan card as in th that he was there with Ronald Reagan, and he scored, uh, I think, a good hit there above the others because he was there in the 1980s. He was there working with Reagan to balance the budget and build up defenses. I think also... Chris Wallace tried to bait him on something, and he said, I'm not biting. I think that was also a significant point. And one thing about time, we can look back to years gone by with Reagan. We need to look ahead to the immediate future. John Gizzi, we thank you. Craig Shirley, stay with us, and you stay with us, too, for more right after this.